My name is Floyd Dick. I'm from here, Alkali Lake. I am the culture and language teacher, and I've been uh, specializing in total physical response, and that is uh, that the students respond to any commands given in Sukhwet mm Mukhchin. -hmm. And um, as well, uh, I teach uh, a lot of cultural singing and dancing, mm -hmm. and um, my goal in that is just to create movement and create positive energy, and of course, to let the kids vent so that they can do their work properly, mm -hmm. and I think that makes a big difference. They're from the age of uh, four, mm -hmm. yeah, so they have K4, K5, all the way up to uh, grade seven, so we're talking 11, 12 year olds. The aim of my program is to teach Shukwet Mukhjin and uh, the songs and dances so that our children grow up to be uh, self-confident and self-empowering and continue our culture and language. In my opinion, the total physical response that I'm accustomed to is uh, helping the kids to come out of their shell. They're, they're retaining a lot more of the language um, because how, of how total physical response works. By barking commands, the students automatically respond and that, that's what you want. Um, that means that their mind is being tricked into remembering what the words mean. Mm -hmm. And that's a... I've never told it that way before. <laughs> and uh, as well, um, the, the kids get their cultural knowledge from uh, the stories that we, that we do. And this one is The Little Girl and the Grizzly Bear and the story of Grasshopper. And uh, it's one of many stories. And uh, uh, because we like to kids to know who they are as First Nations, as Shkwetm, and to, uh, when they become adults, that uh, they can sing the songs or do the dance uh, when they get older. Our circle of knowledge here in Esket can only get bigger and bigger because these kids are going to grow up and they too are going to sing the songs of the Shishwap people. And that's what I'd like to teach is uh, sing songs from all around Shishwap country or Shishwap Mkhuluk. One of the things we're doing at Shishwap is we're beginning to use a First Nations Language Essentials uh, Level 1. And it was prepared by Catherine Michelle. The professional learning communities that I go to... Um, the language teachers, um, whether they're Shushwap, Okanagan, all the other cultures, uh, languages in British Columbia that are involved with uh, Finesque, um, are teaching a total physical response booklet that helps the students to learn the language uh, in a quicker way, yeah, using to total physical response methodology. Indigenous education is learning how to be, or learning about the identity of uh, uh, first, us as First Nations, um, how we come to be in, in our culture and language as we, as we get older. Uh, indigenous education is not just about looking up at the board and writing down a word. It's about engaging the youth in um, various methodologies um, and in ways that the student is able to respond to. Uh, some of our students are visual learners, so therefore, you know, we must throw up uh, visuals, um, Venn diagrams, and stuff like that. And um, uh, yeah, it's um, it's one of the ways that um, we're teaching how to be how to be us and. Uh, uh, through the stories as well, they learn about uh, the connections to the past and the strengths that they have to them that will carry them into the future and uh, the morals of each story on how to be a good person and uh, just to be good in society and uh, do your best and work hard, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Over the next 10 years, I would like to see... Uh, uh, the Sokomik school and other Shushwap schools um, develop a benchmarking system that uh, shows the progression of learning over 
uh, a period of time, whether it be a, a four four year period, uh, a seven year period, ten year period, mm -hmm. and um, have that progress um, in in our society, in our shoe shop society, and that is um, um, that exists alongside of our language authority, so that our language authority and our communities are um, well informed as to how well our students learn are, are, are learning in a period of time. So I think through a benchmarking system, um, I think that'd be a good way to go. Uh, that is my overall goal. If we could have that, um, we're going to increase our level of speakers um, over a period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And plus, uh, the vision of uh, all the students being able to do any of the shushwap songs and dances uh, is uh, a good goal to have. It can only make our shushwap nation stronger. One of the resources that I do need is more HR, more human resources. I need um, more students coming out of high school um, going into teaching language. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I need. I need um, young people that are coming out of high school that are excellent in language curriculum mm -hmm. to help us develop more language and dialogues and uh, creating, creating booklets and stories and uh, technology as well. We need people who can put our language into t the technology mm -hmm. uh, for our youngsters that are coming up who are going to be thriving on that technology and working with that technology. So I think uh, that's a good way to go.